Hello, my mystic tribe. Welcome back to your daily reading for June 11th, 2021. I am Mystic Jen, and this is Tell It Tarot, where I tell it like it is. This reading may not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Check some past readings, or I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, we're going to see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, guys, ascend the masters of the pure white light. What are the messages, please, for my mystic tribe? June 11th, 2021. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Strength. Knight of Swords. Wow, there's a lot of activity today. There seems to be, you know, there's some happy, happy times, happy gatherings. This could be just simply happy time, happy time with families, strong connection with somebody, something where your heart space may be expanding here. Nine of Swords represents this swift action, swift movement, possibly a change. But this is somebody who is like almost like narrow-minded, like one track mind is what I get here. A lot of fast-moving communications here. Page of Swords, there we go. Could be a learning experience. Somebody might be learning some kind of new skill that makes them very happy. But what I'm getting mostly is somebody's thinking about their happiness. Somebody's focused on their happiness, taking action. And it might take a little bit of strength and courage to achieve this. Let's see where this is going here. The sun. Oh, this is gorgeous. Three of wands. This is beautiful energy, and I'm so drawn to the sun, to the brightness. You know, kind of got some sun in this card as well. You know, I just get this very overwhelmingly feeling of happiness. You know, the strength card could be trying to maybe even Show some restraint, pull back energy, a little bit of relaxation. Time in the sun, time in the outdoors. I know this does not seem like this overwhelming tower energy type of reading. But this is real tarot, real life. And instead of having drama, it's nice to have some peace here you know, a lot of anticipation could be traveling. Three of Wands can sometimes mean tra literally travel. So somebody might be traveling on vacation here. Nine of Swords and my, ha, ha, ha. Underlying energy. Nine of Swords. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Somebody's worried about this. Show me the overall energy, please. I think so, I think somebody's overthinking something here, something that is good, pure. I definitely get this happy time, this family life type of energy. Why overthink it? But well, I mean, the base layer looks good to me. We shall see where this goes, but it definitely feels like. Just feeling good and, and running with it. Okay, what is the overall energy, please? What is the overall energy? If you're curious what deck this is, this is the Moon Child Tarot. Four of Swords. Rest and rejuvenation. Thank you. Underlying energy, Page of Cups. Engaging in yourself. So I feel like this is some let's take care of me time. Let's take care of self, self-care, self-indulgence, self-pampering, rest. You know, there is this thing of, 
I'm picking up on an energy of somebody who rest, slow down, is not part of your vocabulary. Nope. I can see you going into Webster Dictionary with a Sharpie blacking that out. There is no such thing as rest. There is no such thing as slow down. Nope. 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 That's what I get. Somebody is very active, thinking about some things, think and you know, thinking about the things that makes them happy, taking action, being constantly on the move, <clears throat> very active mind. Um, but there's something that we did see the nine of swords is underlying at one point of a little bit of worry and concern and anxiety, or it could literally be meaning not sleeping. Mind so active with your thoughts, your ideas, the world that you want to create, things going on around you, thinking about work, thinking about this friend, thinking about the news, what's going on in the news, thinking about what's going on with your brother or your sister, your mother, your dad, your child, you know, just the hustle and bustle of life. And I feel like the 11th is a day that Spirit is saying, Stop. Take a breath. Breathe in the sunshine. Breathe in the fresh air. And keep in mind, they want me to point out with the Ten of Cups, typically the traditional Ten of Cups has a rainbow. And the rainbow does take rain and sunshine. That's the only way you get the rainbow. Being that this is the, your opening with this, you may have previously gone through a storm. But then the sun comes out and creates that rainbow and there's this calmness. Okay, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. And now that things are calm, it's almost like you don't know what to do with yourself. You need to busy yourself. You just want to go, go, go. And Spirit's saying, stop and breathe in. Three of Wands, it's like expectations waiting on something. Um, ships coming in, movement. But I'm picking up on... Just wait, okay? Energy of waiting. Taking a pause. Quiet the mind a little bit. Interesting. And when we bring out this deck, interesting. Um, I usually reserve this when it comes to spirit communications. But they said pull this deck, okay. I have three decks that I'll use for spirit communications, depending. And this is like one of them, but they want me to pull this deck, okay. This is the Haunted House Tarot. This deck I usually read about the property itself, the history of what's going on. The actual communication, I usually use the steampunk tarot <clears throat> or the supernatural tarot. But let's see, show me this overall energy. Interesting. We've got the Queen of Cups, heart space. Self-care, the scream self-care, Ace of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> you know, cutting ties with everybody for a weekend. Okay. Self-care here. The overall energy is the need for self-care, the need to take some rest and time out. Interesting. Okay, show me this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune. So there was a change in a situation here. Interesting. King of Swords here. 
somebody made a decision to make a radical change in their life. Okay. For the better, I feel. For the better. Some changing things around. Somebody was about their happiness. So, yeah, I do feel that there was a storm. I'm sorry, that's the Queen of Swords. I'm sorry. But somebody's very clear. There's the King of Cups. Opening up the heart space. Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried about it. Okay, I get it. I get it, hon. Um, three of Cups under the deck. Somebody feels like they're drowning in their emotions. Somebody's heart space. There's that... You know, somebody's heart space feel. I mean, they're feeling the emotions here. And somebody's trying to block out emotions. They don't want to feel them. But because there has been a change in regards to their foundations, their family life. I don't know if there was an ending, but somebody might be worried about it. Worry about the changes. Um, we have a King of Cups. Who's very warm and open and a queen of swords who doesn't who buries her emotions this could also be a change as in somebody who was closed off who was caught in their head uh analytical straight to the fact ignoring emotions somebody's emotionality might be opening up and that might concern somebody it's like i don't want to feel this i don't want to feel this i don't want to feel this that's the energy i'm picking up Okay, and the strength card, somebody's trying to find some strength to resist and trying to stay in their, in the swords, in the realm of the head and the thoughts. Okay, we have five of wands here. Yeah, somebody's, I, okay, we got somebody battling themselves. That's a battle of wheels right there. In regards to new love and heart space. Somebody's fighting it. I feel. Okay. So this is when. The root of the story. Comes out. Yeah. We get this R&R &R energy. This self care energy. This heart space opening up. Somebody realizing that the heart space is opening up. But trying to clamp down on it. Put it to rest. Pause. Get a lot of pause and action here. We have somebody that is expecting. Something to come in. What that is, I do not know. Not yet. Over here, now that we start opening up the spread, we're finding out that there had been a change in the family dynamics that might have been worrisome. Somebody may have turned off their emotions. But somebody could not fight it. it might actually, it seems like there is some kind of new love coming in that could bring this happiness about, and somebody's fighting against it. Somebody's trying to keep themselves from feeling the feelings. You know, in an emotional realm, your ener the energy is there. There is love here. Okay, <clears throat> but it's kind of like trying to fight it. Sw switch roles where applicable. Chariot, there's the vehicle that carries that love. That one, it's like your energy wants to move ahead. Your energy wants to embrace that love. Take it to the next level. <coughs> but you're kind of battling yourself. Strength card again. Somebody feels they have to be strong. And they can, they have to be strong and not feel this. Uh-huh. There's the root of the cause. Five of pentacles. There was a break. There was a break in back here. That's what this is. There was a break in somebody's happy home. And somebody's heart space is open. Now we get to the root of the story, hon. Now we get to the root. There was a break. And then there's somebody that comes in that makes your heart feel something. And you're trying to clamp down saying, nope, I can't feel this. Nope, nope, nope. I got to resist this. I got to be strong. I can't let myself fall prey again. Um, tell me about this King of Swords, this Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is here. Um, thoughts racing. Movement. Thoughts racing over this Two of Cups. There seems to be a union here. I'm not seeing soul tie necessarily yet, but there is a union. It 
Six of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of fire. It's like your energy is there. The passion is there. The recognition is there. The Nine of Swords is like saying, it's trying to flip it. And it's like rationalizing, trying to rationalize this attraction and this passion. Huh. There is the Emperor and the Three of Cups. The Emperor is putting a restriction and saying, nope, this is not expanding. This is not going past the Three of Cups. You know, it's like I went from the two onto the three. It's growing. And here comes the Emperor saying, no. Being stubborn energy. The Emperor wants, is like the commander, rigid. He can take action and he could stop it. The emperor is trying to maintain emotional control and say, this is as far as it goes. Hmm. Okay. Show me this page of swords. Queen of wands. You know, someone's trying to ration out this passion. Devil, fear. Somebody's afraid of the passion. Definitely afraid of the passion. Yet five of wands, five, five of swords. Somebody's really, I mean, you are definitely fighting this. You know, feel free to reverse it if need be, wherever applicable. We've got seven of cups underneath the deck, representing confusion. <clears throat> what are you confused about? Love is love. Love is love. I think that your heart space is trying to expand and you are forbidding it. You are not allowing it. Sun energy. The happiness is there. The potential for happiness is there. Show me the sun card. Show me the sun. I shit you not, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Everything you've ever wanted, you can have. Empress, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so this is Wishful Fulfillment. This is the Empress. Are you changing this around? P possibly. This could be describing the other person's energy, that they find you as their wish fulfillment. They find value in you. Or you. it might go both ways. We got the Emperor and the Empress here. There is a power couple here. A power couple. They, rep you, they represent somebody of importance to you and, say, and you represent a, somebody of importance to them. There is definitely a connection here. The Empress is trying to manifest her emperor. You, you figure out whose role was who. Okay. And that she's willing to put the work in. So you have an empress here who's willing to put the necessary work in to grow this connection. That's positive. I'm kind of hoping that that is your energy, that you're finally recognizing this and willing to put the work in. But I feel this is the other person's energy, to be honest. Because your energy is all showing us that I got to shut this down. I got to shut this down. Emperor saying, no, we're going to shut this down. We got to. Turn it off. That's what the emperor says. I got to have this emotional control. I can't feel these feelings. That's your energy. And I feel this is somebody else. Who wants something with you. Who wants to grow. Who wants to put the work in. What else can you tell me about this? Anything else? The moon. Mysterious. Interesting. 
Somebody's keeping this energy under the moon. That could be you. Somebody hiding their feelings. Friend zone. We're just friends. We're just friends. But somebody's hiding their true feelings. It's kind of interesting that the moon popped up. Because this is showing this other person. Why are they hiding their feelings? Uh, three of swords because of pain. Nine of cups. Okay, they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of rejection. Three of wands. Temperance are being patient and waiting. There's patience and waiting here. Three of wands twice. You both are kind of in three of wands energy. You're definitely connecting to somebody this weekend. Okay, show me this three of wands energy, please. Narrow it, please. Narrow it down. Narrow the energy down. Fuck. That's a break. That's a break right there. Somebody left out in the cold. That's a break. Somebody's waiting on a break or waiting on something to break. That, how so? How, how are they waiting? Knight of Pentacles. Because it's a burden. Somebody feels it's a burden. Something is moving too slow. And there's a break. Who that is, I don't know. But somebody feels this connection was moving by too slow. They feel like that they were beating a dead horse and it wasn't going anywhere. So they are kind of maybe looking off into the horizon, looking elsewhere. Somebody's going to lose out because they're not making a move. Just saying. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is mirroring. You both are mirroring each other's energy. I think you both are kind of like... They acknowledge and they know how they feel, but they're just hiding it. They're not speaking it. You're trying to deny it. So in a way, you're mirroring each other's energy, not acting upon this connection, but for different reasons. They're afraid of rejection, afraid of getting hurt. I don't know what your problem is. What does a, I mean, it, I feel that yours has stems from the past. So you're clamping down on this energy and saying, no, I can't allow my heart space to feel anything. Because of this that's happened before. They feel your energy. They feel like, okay, we're in the friend zone. That's it. That you're, <clears throat> you may have made, <clears throat> might be a, an unspoken understanding. In real world, you guys are friends. In the real world. Energetically, there's a connection. Energetically, you both have feelings for each other. But the emperor and you is clamping down saying, nope, I don't feel this. I don't feel this. There's a little bit of a denial here. Their energy is, I feel this. I know I feel this. I know I love this person. But I can't speak it. I'm afraid to let them know. I'm afraid that maybe they won't accept my cup. This person has issues with rejection. You have issues with abandonment. But so there is a change happening. Somebody's going to, this, this, there's a break in this, a potential break. Because somebody can't carry the burden anymore. It's burdensome. It's heavy. Somebody feels that it's just too much to bear because it's going too slow. They want more. Might be this person making this break. But the potential to build something is here. Page of Wands, something new. Six of Swords. 
you know, the energy exchange is there. The energy exchange is possible if somebody gets out of their head. Knight of Cups, somebody wants to move forward. But somebody's, but the other person's fighting it. There is a lot of passion here. Absolutely. A lot of passion. There's so much, there's so much fire here. It's not even funny. There's love and there's passion. But it's being denied. Somebody's going to withdraw their energy because they feel like this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, they're not satisfied. They feel like this isn't going anywhere. So they're, they're going to be on the search, three of wands, looking for something else. Just saying, somebody's going to lose out. I, that's what I feel. Tara doesn't dictate, dictate action. You do. You have a choice here, hon. Definitely have a choice. You got to figure out what it's going to be. Okay. I am going to leave you guys at that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next video. Love and light, blessed be.